Well, when you flush the toilet, you may not think about where your waste goes, as most of the time it ends up at a county wastewater plant where it's treated. But for 83,000 homes across the state, that raw sewage ends up in cesspools and is left untreated. KITV4's Paul Drew shows us the challenge the state faces to stop waste from going to cesspools. Cesspools aren't much to look at. They're basically holes dug into the ground. While they may be lined, cesspools do allow sewage to seep out into the surrounding ground untreated. And there's concern. Bacteria, pathogens, and nitrates in waste can also reach our waters. Even though it's under the surface, it's really important because it affects our drinking water, it affects our coastal waters, and it affects our coral reefs. Remember that big sewage spill back in 2006? That gives you an idea of how much sewage 83,000 cesspools pump into the ground every day. They release 52 million gallons of untreated sewage into our groundwater every single day. That is the larger than the biggest sewage spill we ever had in 2006 when it flooded the Alawai. That was 48 million gallons. That's why the state requires cesspools to be converted to septic systems or closed by the year 2050 and started a new pilot program this spring to give homeowners $20,000 in grants to do that. We actually receive over 200 applications in the first three days of opening up the grant program. The response was, was way better than the income tax credit program. In five years, there were only 200 homeowners who took advantage of the $10,000 tax credit to convert cesspools. But those numbers are still a drop in the bucket for how many conversions are needed each year. You really need to like upgrade 3,000 cesspools per year starting from 2030, you know, in order to actually get rid of all the cesspools by 2050. And uh, right now we're not even at that current pace. This pilot program only had $5 million available to homeowners. But if the state were to expand it so that 3,000 cesspools could be upgraded each year, it would cost Hawaii $61 million every year for the next 27 years, or a total of more than $1.6 billion for cesspool conversions. And along with a lot more money, Pruder says there also needs to be more education. People who actually have cesspools, I'm not even sure if they're even aware of, you know, the impacts that their cesspools, you know, have on the environment, like the ocean that you swim in or like even drinking water sources. Following the Red Hill fuel contamination, people protested and demanded clean water. But there's not the outrage over untreated wastewater from cesspools reaching our groundwater. You know, when you hear fuel, you're like, oh, my God, that's just horrible. But this is polluting our water systems. In Hawaii Paradise Park, they did a study, and 50% of the private drinking water wells had fecal indicator bacteria in them. And so it's like when you think about that and that we could be drinking some of this waste, then it's, it's a kind of an emergency status. Paul Drews, KITV4 Island News.